How are you erectile dysfunction motherfuckers doing tonight? Doop. That one was a little delayed. Do something a little different tonight. Now before I get started in my expose on fine French cuisine, and before I start moving my eyebrows all over, I wish I could do both, but I can't. Yeah, I'm no Stephen Colbert. What's up with that motherfucker anyway? So anyways, I was saying, just gotta make sure, oh shit, there goes that fucking Skynet again. That motherfucker. So before we get started, I just want to say, uh, hope y'all loving my beautiful gray shirt tonight, my giant shoulders. I just want to put this out there. That, uh, wait, what? Um, no, no, I'm not going to tell him that. Just get away from me, man. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it to me. I'm sorry, people. It's the meds. I'm still getting adjusted. It's just, it's, it's a little strange for me right now. It's, I know. I know, mama. Yeah, I put them under the floorboards. That's right. It's all good. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go fuck your mother. Oh, people, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm a mess tonight. I'm, you know what? I got to meet with my man around the corner. You know that man I was telling you about? Shit. You know that man with the brown paper bag and the pill? Well, my therapist. I got to go back there. I got to get some more of that, sh that shit. I, I need to get like readjusted. I don't know what's happening. Um, I, I know all my loyal files out there. I know you love me. And I know you're completely normal for loving an extremely normal person like me. I know that you're really, you're loving me. You're loving me and, and you have loyalty for me because you trust in my, in my brilliant calculated mind and the way I put forth very specific notions and theories about how various stocks and Bitcoin is uh, going to help save everybody, including mankind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Will mankind be saved? Slap out of him. So as I was saying, I got some fine, fine cooking. I got some fine recipes to share with you tonight. Tonight, let's uh, still, let's bring the camera on down so I can show you some fine, fine cooking. This recipe here I got from my uncle's mother's dog's niece brother's loving dog. Sorry, had a brain fart there. Oh, shit, my shoulder falling out, too. Man, this is a really messed up loo tonight. All right, people. I got some really, really delicious, fine cuisine I want to share with you. First of all, we're going to we're gonna start off with a main, uh, a main dish. Yes! Here we go. It's going to be delicious. I have with me some old-fashioned oats. That's right. Perfect for Armageddon end of day's time, but also good for morning breakfast. So we're not going to boil this in water. Okay, we're actually just going to fry these up plain in a frying pan with some old oil that I found out back behind this barbecue joint. It used to be open like 15 years ago, but the oil's still there and it seems good. I mean, it has like some crusty weird pieces in it but I just poured that oil into another container we're gonna use that we're gonna fry it up with this okay the next ingredient I'm gonna use is if you remember this from the last recipe I've got more okay we're going to pour some of this beautiful red pepper organic spread onto the dried fried oatmeal believe me people it is incredible oh my god the textures the flavor it's just mmm it's just bon appetit. It's just, it's divine. It is divine. I'm so sorry, people. That's the wrong accent. I'm just a mess. To, I'm a mess. I know. I, 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 yeah, motherfucker. I don't even know what's going on tonight. Okay, so the next one is, get some Hall's Cough Drops. It is open. I found it on a Crosstown bus on the way here. And I just thought, you know what, this will add like a delightful little sweetening to it and just make everything just really just work together. Really gorgeous, scrumptious, 
It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. You just put that right on there while the oatmeal's frying and while the red pepper's bubbling, okay? Only do that for about 18 minutes, and then you want to carefully flip the oatmeal with an old spatula or a rat. Either one, whatever's closest to you, okay? My damn shoulders. God, they're so big, they move around. And it really makes the skit less funny. Okay, there we go. So the next thing I'm using is um, the horseradish... Uh, what is this stuff called? The horseradish mustard. We're just going to pour a little bit on the edges. You just want a little, just a little saucon, just a little touch, a little bit, you know, on the edges. You know, it's going to be delicious. You just pour that around the edges while the oatmeal is still lightly cooking. 18 minutes, okay? But then you want to add about four minutes once you add the mustard around the edge, okay? And then once everything gets really going crispy and it's going well and you're feeling really happy and you're not thinking about your meds. Yes! You're meds. I'm so sorry, people. Fuck your mother. That motherfucking hurt. Why did you have to hit me like that? That was too motherfucking hard. I'm so sorry, people. The next ingredient is the Simple Times beer. It's still sealed. I don't know where you get these from, but I found this on the subway. And I had to really wrestle this old, like, 70 year old guy for it man i really got him in the face good and i kicked him out from behind his knee as soon as he fell the whole six pack went right into my loving arms and i ran out of there before the transit cops could get me it was fun i love that that's what i do around here i run from the cops and you know and other people Okay, so after you add the beer over the top of it, you know, you just let all that cook really nicely and you add another three minutes. Three minutes with the beer, on the oatmeal, around the edges with the mustard, the old crusty mustard. It is crusty. I don't know why it's crusty, but just pay attention to the fact that it's mustard. You cook all that together. It's like a grand total of like 23.42 minutes. Okay, and after all that's done, you just pour that into whatever's near you. Dog, bowl, on the street. It doesn't matter. You know, if you happen to have some, be somebody with money, you can do that too. You know, you can pour it in what's called a bowl. I've heard of these things called a bowl. You can do that. You know, that's totally up to you. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, oh gosh darn. The last ingredient, I almost forgot. Just as in the last recipe, I'm going to use this again, the scotch tape. What you want to do is just put little pieces of it on the top when it's all cooked. You don't cook this. It's a little different this time. You just want like a, a crispy like chemical topping across the top. It is delightful. It is just, oh my God, it's divine. It's delicious. Okay, so just that's it. That's the whole thing. It's pretty simple. Not as complicated as the last one. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Yes. And I'll see you motherfuckers soon.